Hi right, group. I wanted to spend some time talking about our little discussion question and also test question on uh, quiz two about um, our first day at class and I told you all that I would share my experiences from uh, my first day at class and so I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that right now. I graduated in uh, 1978 uh, in December for LSU and my last semester at LSU was basically all student teaching. I began student teaching at Bel Air High School in Baton Rouge uh, under the uh, tutelage of uh, two really great uh, master teachers, uh, Edgar Story and James Manley. Uh, these guys really uh, played a very significant role in my uh, development as a teacher and uh, even uh, today. But I began uh, student teaching in uh, f fall semester and about halfway through in October I was uh, approached one day at uh, Bel Air by the uh, parish superintendent and uh, supervisor of uh, vocational education and asked me if uh, I wanted to go to work. I said, obviously I'm, uh, I'm ready. Um, I was, when I said that I thought, you know, I still got two months left of, um, of work. But um, we took a trip up to North Baton Rouge to a high school called Baker High School. The situation there at Baker was such that the one of the industrial arts teachers had just died of cancer. Uh, he had a really long battle with the, the disease. Uh, his program pretty much went down for about the last year and a half and really they were looking for someone to take over and uh, he had just died maybe two weeks uh, before and they wanted someone to, to pick up the rest of the year and so I went up there with the uh, super supervisor and uh, we talked with the principal Jerry Epperson and the next day I was uh, now technically the substitute teacher there at uh, Baker High School for indu uh, general industrial arts. Um, I didn't have anything ready. They pretty much gave me my key, said here's your shop, get after it. So I, I had some very difficult weeks getting the curriculum together, getting my uh, supplies ready. The uh, supervisor was just really great uh, saying, look, I, I know you're going to need some supplies. You just make a list and uh, give it to me. I'll pick it up for you. I don't know where he had the money, but uh, he he did that for me. And it was just uh, one headache that I didn't have to, to, to worry about. And you know, I thought that I had had been prepared, but there was there's just nothing like sitting in and st or standing in front of a classroom, and those students are are your students. Uh, you are the one that's going to have to get the job done. Nobody else can do it for you. And um, you know, I I had some pretty rough days because uh, they had some pretty uh, pretty rough kids uh, but yet survived and then uh, really had a, 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 I'd say a fairly good run uh, at uh, Baker High. Uh, I guess one interesting thing that happened to me that uh, doesn't normally happen to a whole lot of people is that one month after I was hired, uh, so, uh, after we finished the, the semester, I got my degree, uh, I finally dropped the substitute um, title and I became a full-fledged 
faculty member there at uh, Baker. A month and a half after that, we had one of the few uh, teacher strikes in the state's history, and I participated in in that uh, situation, and that was an eye opener. Uh, how the, system, the educational system works. Um, I guess that would be uh, another discussion if you all would ever want to hear that that, that story. Uh, just let me know, and I'm a, I'm a, I'll uh, tell you about it. But that was a very very uh, difficult thing to do for a whole lot of people, and changed the lives of of a whole lot of people. But um, about my second or third year at uh, Baker, uh, had a first cousin of mine that uh, died in a tragic uh, automobile wreck, and I was down uh, in Iota uh, for the funeral. And while I was there, I, I saw in a uh, local newspaper an advertisement for the technical college needing a drafting instructor. Now I had taught drafting there uh, at Baker for a couple of years and also uh, uh, did part of that in, in my student teaching. And I uh, said, well, hey, what have I got to lose? You know, it'd be 12 month employment and I had been to trade school uh, when I just flunked out of college. And I uh, said, so, well, maybe that might be an interesting uh, place to teach. And so I filled out my application, turned it in, pretty much never thought I'd uh, hear anything back from them. But lo and behold, I get a call in Baton Rouge from uh, a man by the name of Dr. A.J. Absher, saying, um, I saw your uh, application, I'd like to be able to sit down and talk to you. I said, well, um, Doc, I'd be glad to visit with you. And uh, we set up a a time uh, for me to go in and uh, visit with him and he kind of laid out his plans that he pretty much wanted to um, expand his drafting program to a two-person shop and that he wanted somebody with an educational background teaching like the basics and to create a, a basic drafting curriculum and I said well I think that, that I can do that for you and one thing led to another, and I, I was hired, uh, went to work, well, in fact, uh, I had no vacation, I left uh, Baker on a, uh, on a Friday morning, and uh, 7 o'clock the Monday morning, I was uh, there filling out paperwork at uh, Louisiana Technical College, Acadian campus, so uh, that was a... Uh, big change, I, I should say. I didn't get into the teaching uh, mode that quickly because my lab was still un under construction, so I team taught with the uh, instructor who was there, Michael Doucette, and we kind of laid out our plans and I just kind of uh, worked with him, uh, got a feel for that, so I kind of was able to ease into uh, to my teaching role in, in that situation. And I was also supervised by Mr. Charles Arsenault, one of the, the I, I think one of the finest uh, administrators that I've ever been around. Uh, the man was a physics teacher in high school, uh, moved on to the technical college system as a related instructor, uh, became assistant dean or assistant director. That's what we called him back then, and uh, it was uh, always full of um, a lot of. Ex uh, help, um, just like a a mentor to me. Uh, just kind of took me under his wing and said, "Look, you know, this is how things work." And it was really wonderful to kind of do that to have somebody who, with that much experience, uh, you know, basically take his time. And in this place, the man was a busy man to work with me and uh, help me to to grow and. Uh, mature and also it kind of explained how how this system worked uh, I'll never forget uh, the uh, the first day that I was there we sat down in a, a, a little uh, 
student lounge and he said look boy he said one thing you better get to to know real quick is that this is a political system uh, the technical college system runs on politics and he said it, the, the people who know how to uh, talk to uh, legislators and know how the legislative system works will get some things done. That, those that don't um, are going to come up short. And, and I never forgot that. And even today, I think we can say that, that uh, our system is kind of politicized uh, with all of our boards and uh, dealing with uh, the governor, legislature, and uh, all the things that go on there in Baton Rouge. So things haven't changed in 20, 25 years. So um, let me just tell y'all, y'all are in a political system, get used to it, and uh, learn how to make it work for you. And we may do, be doing some of those things uh, in this class uh, this semester. So I'm going to go ahead and end my little discussion right here. and. Uh, go ahead and upload it and begin some uh, work on our uh, chapter 3 PowerPoint.